everybody, this is Steve at Commercial Forest and I am on my way to Fontana right now. And you might say, hey, what are you doing in Fontana? Hey, why are you going to Fontana? For the same reason I've been going to Fontana for the last 18 months. I'm breaking my butt at the warehouse trying to get stuff done. However, today we got a call from the guys at the yard and said they're, they found a eight quarter black limba board that is probably the most spectacular figured board they've ever seen. So they said, you gotta come down and check it out. So that's what I'm doing today before I do my other things. I gotta head over and check out this black limba board. They said it is eight quarter by 15 inches wide and 13 feet long and fully figured. Yeah, boy! In some crazy way, so let's check it out. Okay, now these are not the boards that we're talking about, but they came out of the same shipment. Narrower boards, but just amazing figure. Anybody who follows us on Instagram, at Commercial Forest, by the way, knows that African limba is one of my favorite woods. It is a hardwood. It comes from Western Africa. It's rare to see in the United States, not because it's an endangered wood. It's just not used in mass market furniture production, so there's not a need to bring tons of it into the United States. It's definitely more of a niche wood with amazing variegated color. It's a truly spectacular figured wood. Okay, well, here it is. The board they've been talking about, and I can't disagree with them. That is some color. I have not flipped it over, but it's a good 13 feet long by 15 inches wide and just crazy, crazy colors. I just flipped it over. Great Caesar's ghost. No. And that goes for you too, Ken. The other side is even more colorful than the one we just looked at. Keep in mind, that's 15 inches wide. Technically 15 and a half. So pretty much enough to make a fully colored single piece or the coolest desktop you've ever seen in your life. I don't know, what should we do with this guy? Thinking, thinking. The one thing about this that I find really curious is the incredible colors coupled by the fact, and there's actually some flame in there too, it's a little hard to see in the bright sun, but there are flames running through this. It's got that marbly kind of uh, figure in the middle, ah, it's just going to pop. I mean, it looks like it's already got an oil finish on it, but it does not. Typically when we see a board like this, it's going to have a lot of bug holes in it bug holes make the ambrosia right here um, but what is weird is to have such a huge board that's fully figured with almost no bug holes I mean there's one um, honestly I think it's the first one I've seen in this board I mean it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense from a logical standpoint but hey uh, don't uh, look a gift horse in the mouth I'll take it Typically, we get a limbo board of this size. If you can even find one, the color kind of jets in and out of the board. It's not consistent. And this one is really consistent on both faces and really never, never drops out anywhere. Surprise! Now, we always get flack for cutting a large slabs or boards into smaller parts but the reality is uh, it presents some logistical uh, problems if we have a project that we can use it on it's great but like it's not that much fun storing a 13 foot long slab um, easy to damage with a forklift and plus we know tons of guitar builders that would love to use these so that's the direction we went if you want to read more about this amazing wood Check out our article on Black Limba in the description below.